So let us start. So we will quickly first revise what we have studied till now, and then we will go ahead. I just wanted to share a PPT with you. Okay, ma'am. Just give me a second. I'll do the slideshow. One second. Okay, so uh, yes, so this is the PPT, okay. Now we have studied fractions, okay. We started with fractions, okay. And we went through different types of fractions, proper fraction when numerator is less than denominator, right? The value of a proper fraction is always less than one. Improper fraction, where the numerator is greater than the denominator, the value of an improper fraction is more than or equal to one. We also studied about mixed fraction. A mixed fraction has a whole number part followed by a proper fraction. Example is given here, right? We also studied about like fractions. Like fractions means fractions which have the same denominator are called like fractions. Unlike fractions are fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions, correct? All this we studied, just we'll quickly yes, go through. We also studied about multiplication of fractions. Okay, we studied that when we multiply two fractions, we need to multiply the numerators upon multiply the denominators. So when we multiply seven upon 11 into three by five, it is seven into three upon 11 into five, which is 21 upon 55, correct? Also, we studied how to multiply a whole number with a fraction. Yes or no? So yes. when 3 into 1 by 5, 3 is nothing but 3 by 1 into 1 by 5. Okay, so 3 by 5 is the answer. So all this we have studied. So today we are going to cover division of fractions. This is the topic for today. Now, what is division of fraction? We are dividing fractions. Okay, so for division of fractions, you need to remember three things. What is that? Keep, switch, flip. Okay, so you will remember this, keep, switch, and flip. Okay, now what does this mean? Keep, switch, and flip. I'll just explain you that. Now here we have a question, divide 12 by 15 by four. Uh, just give me a second, I'll share my whiteboard. Children, for the timing, I'll put you on mute, then I'll just unmute you after this is done, okay? Yeah. So, Yes, so it was, one second, hmm. 12 by 15 divided by four, right? Okay, so this is a question given for division. Now always remember four is nothing but four by one. We have studied this already, okay? Every natural number has one in the denominator, but we generally don't write that one. We generally say four, we say five, we don't say four by one, we don't say five by one, but there is one in the denominator for every natural number, okay? Now, we remember. I told you to remember three words. What was that? Keep, switch, and flip. So keep means first fraction, we will always keep it like that. We don't touch it. We just bring it down as it is. Switch means division, we switch it to multiplication on one condition. What is that condition? The second fraction needs to be flipped. Flipped means four by one becomes one by four. Clear? I repeat, keep, switch, flip. So keep means 12 by 15 will be 12 by 15. Switch means division is switched to multiplication. And flip means the second fraction is flipped. Always you flip the second fraction. So four by one becomes one by four. Now you all know how to multiply, correct? So 12 into one multiplication we have already studied. So 12 into one upon 15 into four, correct? So 12 ones are 12, 15 fours are, how much is 15 into four? 60, okay? And 12 by 60 can be reduced. It can be divided with 12, actually. It can be divided with 12, 
reduced with 12 directly. So 12 divided by 12 is 1 and 60 divided by 12 is 5. So 1 by 5 is our final answer. I would like to uh, discuss one more question. So we had this 1 by 5. Our second question is 5 by 7 by 1 by 2. You have to divide 5 by 7 by 1 by 2. Let's do that also. Okay. All right, 5 by 7 divided by 1 by 2. So as per our rule, keep, switch, flip. Keep, switch, flip. Fine. So now we multiply. Multiplication is very simple. Multiply the numerators upon multiply the denominators. Right. So 5 into 2 is 10. And what is in the denominator? 7 into 1. 7 into 1 is 7. Now, 10 by 7, we all know, is an improper fraction. So it can be reduced. So 10 divided by 7. I hope everybody knows to divide it. 7 ones are 7. Remainder is 3. So it is 1 whole 3 by 7 is the final answer. OK, so you need to remember, keep switch flip. So once you divide, okay, whatever answer you get, the final answer should be converted in the lowest form. Okay, I would like to show you one, uh, sorry, one video, just give me one second. Okay, I would like to show you one more video. Okay, um, so please uh, just watch it, watch the full video, everybody will pay attention to that video. Okay, and then we will, I'll discuss some more examples on division. Okay, so please watch everybody. Yes. Welcome to fifth grade math with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be discussing how to divide fractions and specifically dividing fractions by fractions. And as you can see, there are four problems on your screen. We're going to solve these four problems together and I would highly suggest that you write them out with me. But if you just want to watch, that's fine too. At the top of your screen, you see the words keep, switch, flip. These are the steps to dividing fractions and you need to keep that in mind as we go through these four problems. Let's jump right in to number one. We have two thirds divided by one third. So let's take a look at our steps for dividing fractions. And the first step is keep. So that means we're going to keep our first fraction as is, as we write, rewrite this problem. So two thirds. Next, we have switch, which means we are going to switch this division sign to multiplication. So we're actually going to do the opposite of division. And then lastly, we have flip. So we're going to flip that last fraction. Or sometimes you hear it called the reciprocal. And that just means flipping the fraction. So the 3 is now the numerator. And the 1 is now the denominator. So 3 over 1. So that's how we set up our problem. Now we just multiply straight across. 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 1 is 3. So our answer is 6 thirds, or 6 over 3. But that's an improper fraction, meaning the numerator, the top number, is greater than the denominator. So we do not want to leave it like that. So we need to convert it to a whole number or mixed number. So we need to divide our numerator, 6, by the denominator, 3. So how many whole groups of 3 can we pull out of 6? And the answer to that is 2. Now there's no remainder or anything left over, so we get a whole number for our quotient or answer to that division problem. So there you have it. Keep, switch, flip. So let's take a look at number 2. 1 half, keep, switch to the opposite of division, multiplication, and then flip. 
Now we can multiply straight across. 1 times 5 is 5. 2 times 2 is 4. So we ended up with an improper fraction again, so we need to convert it to a whole number or mixed number. So we need to divide the numerator by the denominator. 5 divided by 4. How many whole groups of 4 can be pulled out of 5? And the answer to that is 1. Now for this one, we have something left over. If we pull a group of 4 out of 5, we have 1 left over, and then we keep this denominator the same. So I'm going to repeat that one more time. We did 5 divided by 4 is 1 whole here. We got 1 left over, remainder 1, and then we keep our denominator the same. So 1 and 1 fourth for number 2. Number 3, keep 2 eighths. Switch and flip. And now we go straight across. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 1 is 8. So we get 8 eighths. And whenever you have the same number on top, the numerator, as you do the denominator, it's actually one whole. Think about it. 8 divided by 8. And we get one whole. So number 4, we have 5 sevenths divided by 3 fourths. So steps keep, switch, flip. 5 times 4 is 20, and 7 times 3 is 21. Now that's a proper fraction. We have a numerator that is less than the denominator. So we can see if we uh, can simplify that fraction, but actually the only common factor, the greatest common factor between 20 and 21 is 1. So this fraction is simplified. We are done. 20 over 21. Okay. So, um, yeah. So now I'll give you access to unmute yourselves. If you have any doubt with this on how to divide fractions, you can ask me. No doubt, ma'am. Anyone no any doubt? doubt? No, it was easy. No, ma'am, it okay. was It was okay. easy. No so now, uh, yeah, so now you will help me on uh, solving few questions on the whiteboard, okay? So all will not shout together. I will, you can just... Ma'am, do we need to write it on... Uh, no, 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 no. This is only for practice. Writing I'll give you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll give you more questions to write, okay? So I will just call out the names. Just raise your digital hand. So, okay, I'll call out and they will answer, okay? Let's not shout together. All will not shout together. Okay. Yes, the first question is... Um, give me a second. Yeah, divide... Divide 2 by 1 by 4. Divide 2 by 1 by 4. Who can help me with this question? How to divide 2 by 1 by 4? Uh, okay, Daksh. Yes. Okay, mom. Ma first, uh, ma'am. First, mm -hmm. ma'am, we will write. Uh, uh, ma first, we will write. Uh, mm -hmm. Ma first, we will write 2 by mm -hmm. My one by four. Two divided by one by four. Okay, ma'am. First, ma'am, hmm. we will write two by one. Okay, that, okay. Two by one. Ma'am, then we will multiply it by mm -hmm. four by one. Okay. So I get? Ma'am, two, one, the, ma'am, eight, and ma'am, and ma one. Eight by eight. one is how much? Mom, eight by one. Mom, it is same proper fraction. Eight. Mom, yes, mom, eight. Eight by mom. one is nothing but eight only. Yes, correct. Mom. No, All right. Good, good. Uh, the next question. Uh, yes, Zidan. Second question, you can answer. Divide five by one by five. Yes, ma'am. Just a second. Mom will write five. Uh, 
One minute, one minute, one minute. Mm. Yes, yes. Tell I will me. write five by one first. Mm -hmm. uh, into, mm -hmm. uh, into uh, one by five. No, it's not into. It is division, no? So always first write the question. Okay? okay. Don't directly do the second step. Please always write the first. First you write the question what is given to you. So five divided by one by five is asked to you. So write this step first. Then use keep switch flip that. Okay. Don't directly do keep switch flip. Otherwise, there are chances that you make errors. Okay. So now tell me. Yes, ma'am. Now five by one uh, mm -hmm. into uh, mm -hmm. five by one again. All right. So what is the answer? Ma'am, it is uh, uh, 25 by one. 25 by one is nothing but 25. 25. 